Uh, I'm John Raggett. I'm a dairy farmer in uh, Kilkenny in Ireland. I run a low input system of about 70 mainly British Frisian cows. In a dry, I suppose, a dry year, we have a very dry farm, so we're probably used to having cows out early and out late in the autumn time. Now this area is renowned for iodine deficiency, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. It's probably been a big problem on our farm for four or five years that we've really recognised, so we've been trying different methods of getting iodine and other minerals into cows. So in the end, we came down to the most practical one was the bolus because um, we had tried um, water dispensers and different methods in the water system and we didn't find it very reliable, so we had to look for a new option. So you started using the all-shore bolus, and what results did you notice? Um, well, it's was straight away, probably cow um, appearance probably improved. Uh, they seem to shed their coats quicker in springtime and uh, look certainly more kind of um, ready to go when it came to the breeding season. And certainly the breeding um, has been much better this year than it had been in previous years. Tell me about your fertility results. Well, I suppose probably we wouldn't have f- final results for the year so far, but as, as it's going so far, and what we've noticed picking up repeats, that has been certainly very good and probably between 60 and 70% to for service, I would imagine, so which would be a good figure for our farm anyway, certainly. so. You must be delighted with those results. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good now, yeah, yeah, so it is. I do my own AI as well, so it's kind of, it's nice to, nice to get good results out of it. And if you get good results in terms of fertility, that's going to help your profitability too? Oh, it certainly is, yeah. It's a big plus factor because with our system, it's obviously more important to have cows calving on time and compactly, so that certainly is a big benefit in cost-wise for the springtime and, and at the back end of the year where you get the cows into a more compact system, so... Certainly as a, as a means of giving minerals to animals, it's a job done and it's kind of you're, you're more sure that it has been done correctly and you're not dependent on different quantities going in at different times. So, You're an AI technician as well as being yeah. a farmer here. Do your customers use the boluses? They do, actually. That's where I found out probably about the boluses first. One of my major customers have been using them and finding great results with them for the last two or three years. So that's where I picked up first and certainly his fertility results for the last few years had been very good and I noticed that with him so that's how I got onto the all shore bolus so and I would imagine that with results like that you'd be very reluctant to stop using the bolus oh certainly would yeah and probably more so that next year we'll probably use them as a means of pre-calving mineral as well as for the fertility end of things so it should be a cost saving that way that we'll use them a double dose when cows are dried off rather than this year where we went at the start of the breeding season so it should help on cost wise for pre-calving minerals as well as the benefit of them through the season so do you use many concentrates in the system no probably i say cows at the most are fed about 400 kilos of concentrates per year per head so we'd be low input is our is our aim but all depends on the feeding conditions for the year whether a dry year obviously will be a higher concentration here but a wet year suits us better so have you been able to reduce your mineral input since starting to use the all-shore policy? Oh, we have, yeah. We certainly, we've depended on the all-shore to supply all the minerals, really. So that's our main mineral source for, for the cows. So 